What would you eat for your last meal? Welcome to B, I'm Nate, and these are 10 of the most disturbing last meals prisoners begged for. Number 10, Robert Alton Harris. This man began a crime spree across San Diego in the summer of 1978. First, he and his younger brother stole a car, and then they stole two people, who he then slayed after they tried to fight back. According to court documents, he told them to go to sleep and to do it like men, but he also robbed a bank for being apprehended by the San Diego police. A massive twist in the case came up when it was discovered that one of the men that Robert slayed was actually the son of one of the arresting officers. The cop was unaware of the connection until after the arrest had been made. By the time he was arrested, charged, and convicted, the entirety of San Diego was sick of Harris and his reign of terror. After a series of appeals, he was eventually taken to the chamber in 1992. For his last meal, he ordered a bit of everything. 21 pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken, two large Domino's pizzas, a bowl of ice cream, a bag of jelly beans, a six pack of Coke, and one final pack of those sweet, sweet cancer sticks. Although his final request was granted, the officers in charge of arranging his meal pulled one last move on him and gave him two frozen tombstone pizzas instead of his dominoes. Hashtag sad. Number 9. James Edward Smith There are some odd requests on this list, and then there is James Edward Smith. James was arrested for robbing a bank and ending the lives of one of the employees. In 1983, he was arrested and charged for the slaying, and according to the court documents, his behavior of aggression and fleeing continued. As he ran from the courthouse and was found a few blocks away. When he was convicted and sentenced to the Green Mile, he made a final demand that has disturbed people for years. He requested that his final meal be a clump of dirt. But not your average dirt, which is already creepy enough. He specifically asked for Ray Kunda dirt. This soil, also known as goofer dust, has been used in hoodoo rituals and is said to have the ability to inflict dark spells on anyone who consumes or inhales it. In history, it was used to create illnesses in victims like swelling legs or blindness, but it's said to have the ability to do the opposite and protect the consumer from outside evil or disease. So, asking for this to be a final meal may have been a last minute attempt to shield himself from the mixture of chemicals that they were eventually going to release into his body. I actually found a lot of neat information about this dirt, but I'm already boring myself. To summarize, voodoo dirt. Of course, they said no because that was even too weird for the people of Kentucky. Number 8. Dobby Gillis Williams This last meal is a bit telling of the person that Dobby was, and should have been an indication that he might not have been the man behind this case. He was convicted of ending a woman's life in 1984, and was sentenced to the Green Mile. The case has been controversial since day one as the police claim to have gotten a confession from him, but that was never actually recorded so there's no proof that it happened. He was evaluated by a psychiatrist who determined that he was intellectually disabled, but his defense attorney failed to discuss this or mitigate factors from his childhood. Apart from the supposed confession that police claim to have received, the only thing really tying him to the situation were the scratches and abrasions that were consistent with what one might receive from the this incident. So for his food, for his final meal, he decided that he wanted to get that sweet, sweet tooth fix. He ate 12 chocolate bars and ice cream as his final moments, and in his final moments, he told the people around him that he just wanted to say he had no hard feelings towards anyone, and blessed the room. 7. Victor Fegwer A lot of people have asked for way too much when they're about to be taken out to the ball game, but for Victor, the exact opposite move was made. In 1963, he was convicted of slaying and sentenced to be hung up because it was the 60s, and that was still a thing, apparently. It did not take place in a town square in front of an angry mob, though that would be interesting. Prior to the ending of his life, his last meal was a strange request, but there was some thought put into it. Victor asked that his final meal be one single olive presented on a plate of white and gold. The reason being, he wanted the pit. Before being strung up, he placed the pit in his jacket pocket and was reportedly buried with it. He wanted there to be a chance that maybe an olive tree could grow over his grave as a symbol of peace. Now, I'm not a botanist, but something tells me that didn't happen considering the pit was in a wooden box in his sleeve with, you know, the rest of his body safe from dirt. So, then again, it was the 60s, so maybe they just tossed him in a ditch or something and called it a day. Folks, if you're ever driving around Iowa and you see an olive tree, it could very well be Victor. That's comforting, right?
right? No, not at all. Number six, John Wayne Gacy. John is one of the most notorious life enders in human history, being convicted of slaying at least 33 men and women. He was a regular performer at children's birthday parties, posing as a clown named Pogo or Patches, and this is why in most photos associated with him you'll see him wearing a colorful clown outfit. Just another reason to hate clowns. He was caught after an investigation took place and physical remains were found in his walls and his crawl spaces. Yay! Throughout his life he had worked in construction and as an owner of three KFC restaurants, so there were a few directions his story could have taken us. Now, while he didn't deep fry anyone and toss them in 11 herbs and spices, thankfully, his love of KFC stuck with him to the very end, because for his final meal he requested a bucket of original recipe KFC, fries, deep fried shrimp, and a pound of strawberries. Number 5. Ronnie Lee Gardner Ronnie Lee may have been a robber, burglar, and life ender, but at heart he was just a massive nerd. Ronnie was sentenced to be taken down by a firing squad, the most dramatic and gratuitous way to end someone's life. His last meal was fairly standard. It was steak, lobster, apple pie, vanilla ice cream, and of course, the desire to eat it all while watching the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy start to finish. It takes like nine and a half hours to finish the Lord of the Rings trilogy, not including the extended cuts. This man was about to be done with his life, and he was like, you know what, let me watch the little hairy toad man drop that ring into the fire one more time. Even if Frodo didn't want to do it in the end, it happens. Sorry, having Lord of the Rings flashbacks. This is not a list about Lord of the Rings. The funny part is that he actually didn't watch the movies. He ate his meal and read a book while he listened to the movies. This is a strange request, but at least he didn't want to eat the trilogy. This would have been a very different list. I can't find any public record of this, but a small part of me really hopes that there is someone out there so unhinged that they genuinely wish to eat a Blu-ray disc before leaving this earth. Does it taste blue? We may never know. Number four, Gary Carl Simons Jr. Say that 10 times fast. This man's dark origins are something straight up out of a horror movie. This man was working at a grocery store as a butcher in 1996 when he decided to chop someone into little pieces and literally feed them to alligators. For his final meal, we're not sure if this was a genuine order or if this was just a meme. This man wanted two medium pizzas stuffed and covered in all the toppings, 10 8 ounce packs of Parmesan cheese and ranch dressing, 10 each, a family sized bag of Doritos, nacho cheese, sliced jalapenos, two strawberry shakes, two cherry cokes, one super sized order of McDonald's french fries with ketchup mayo, and of course, two pints of ice cream. Don't worry though, the pizzas were medium, because, you know, large would be a bit too excessive. In the final hours before his life was ended, he had only managed to get halfway through the meal. The meal amassed to a whopping 26 thousand calories, and on average we're only supposed to consume like two or three at most in a day. At least I do. Number three, Timothy McVeigh. Tim was one of the most awful human beings in the world, and thankfully he got what he got. In 1995, he was involved in an incident that blew away a large portion of a FedEx complex, ending the lives of 168 people with hundreds more suffering serious injuries. The trial was covered wall to wall by the media, but after his conviction, the arrest was an even bigger deal. When it came time for him to be taken out, there was not enough seats in the chamber's gallery for the families of the victims who wished to witness his demise. Hundreds of family members came to see the man who stole their loved ones from them, with the chamber being packed to the brim. For his final meal, he got two pints of mint chocolate ice cream with nothing else. Just wanted to keep his heart cold on the way downstairs, I guess. Number two, Philip Workman. In 2007, a man named Philip was set to have his life ended, but his final meal was actually an act of charity. He asked that his final meal, a veggie pizza, be delivered to a homeless man somewhere in Nashville, Tennessee. The prison officials actually refused the request and told him it was not their job to do charity work. That statement made a lot of people very upset, and some something kind of interesting happened. The next day, over $1,200 worth of pizza was delivered to various homeless shelters around the city from tons of different places that had heard about Philip's request. Everyone from a mom and pop shop to Pizza Hut. Seeing this as a wish to do something charitable before his passing, the public decided to make it happen. There is footage from that day of people around the city mowing down on free pies and thanking this man for making his final request. Philip actually had a pretty dramatic turnaround after being arrested in 1981 
1981, he robbed a Wendy's restaurant while living on the streets, and he was addicted to no no snow. He slayed a police lieutenant named Ronald Oliver, and although sentenced to have his life ended for the incident, he spent 26 years in prison before it happened. In that time, he became a model inmate, and despite his crime, the citizens in Nashville saw the request as a true act of kindness during a time when he really had no reason to be kind. And at number one, Lawrence Russell Brewer. This man's last meal request was so massive and outlandish, it actually forced Texas state lawmakers to change their minds about delivering the last meal request. Lawrence Russell Brewer spent a long time waiting for his life to end. In the last few days, he requested his massive 18 person last meal that changed the course of history. He demanded that they give him two chicken fried steaks with gravy drenched onions, a bacon cheeseburger, triple meat with everything on it, a cheese omelet loaded with ground beef and tomatoes, onion, bell peppers, and jalapenos. But that's not all. He also asked for ketchup smothered okra, barbecued meat by the pound with half of a loaf of white bread to sop it all up, three fully decked out fajitas, a meat lover's pizza, a pine ice cream, peanut butter fudge, and three root beers. Enough to feed a small village. The Texas prison system actually approved that request, but they then offered it to him and he told them that he just wasn't hungry. This man was about to have his life ended and one of the last things he wanted to do was mess with a prison guard that's kinda legendary. But that literally changed the law so now no one gets a last meal so give and take. And those are some of the inmates who had some dark last meal requests. If you enjoyed the video leave a like down below, follow B for more awesome content every day, and we'll see you next time.